guys, it's Ter from Zap, and I'm about to show you my Colorvision, an interesting little ultra-rare tabletop that accepts cartridges. It was only released in Europe, and depending on the country, it was either made by Romtech, Bristol, Bazin, Altec, and possibly others. The Romtech one seems to be by far the most well-known, followed by the Bristol, which is the one I have. At least five games were made for it. Beast Planet, Horror House, Jungle Boy, Submarine, and the Pac-In Monster Chase. Right here, the Bristol one, is, which I have, is the French one. So, Hure means hour, Tour de Sot means shoot and or jump, and I don't really know what ACL, AMA, and PRO mean, but it's uh, pretty easy to figure out the controls. Uh, let's look at it. Here's the side, which is pretty basic. The back, there's nothing on it. The other side is the same thing, and underneath has the battery case which holds two C-cell batteries. There is no room for an AC adapter, so you'll ha you're stuck with the batteries pretty much, which is a little strange, I always felt. But on top has the mirrors, which reflects off the cartridge, which is really strange, because each game contains an LCD itself, and apparently you can't even program cartridges for it. It's just the five games, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the first game I have right here is called Chasse Ox Monsters, which means Monster Chase. Okay, I'm going to put it in right now. It snaps in. And there is no on-off button, which is a little bit strange. But I'm going to try to zoom in and see if you can get a picture. Pardon me for the shaky camera. But uh, I'm going to start playing the game right now. And... Uh, Hopefully you guys can see. I'm not going to know until the video is over. So let's find out. Okay, time to play Chasse Ox Monstres. Pardon my French. That means Monster Chase. This is the pack-in game. And one of three games that I own. I do not own Beast Planet or Jungle Boy. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, you control that little guy. Okay, alright. What you can't do is fall. You gotta go on those little platforms. Okay, I made it to the next one. Looks like I'm grabbing an axe. Each one you get is points. Oops. Looks like you can't fall at all. I'm dead already. Alright, I wanna start again. This is a little interesting. Okay. Don't quite know what the total object is without reading instructions. Alright, I'm on the top level. Look like I got crushed there. <laughs> right. Okay, looks like those things can hurt you. Grab that axe. I'm up to 10 points. Ah, I fell. You can't fall at all. This guy can't even fall one level and he dies. So, I guess it's semi-realistic. Ah! I made it to 16 this time. Alright, time to try something else. Alright, here we have Submarine, which is supposedly a brand new game that I bought off eBay. It's not sealed, so it's not like I'll be opening it for the first time ever. So, let's see what we got here. Just being very careful right now. Just try not to damage anything. It's packed really tight in there. Alright, here we go. See the instructions are there too. Very odd looking cartridge, I have to say. Take this out very carefully. This in, this slot snaps in, and let's focus on that one now. Submarine. Let's see if this is going to be as good as the other one. Alright, that well, looks like a pretty clear picture. Okay, bear with me. Turn it on now. Alright, here we go. It's the first time I ever played this game, so. Trying to figure it out without reading the instructions. Okay, you control that little guy in the bottom. That, I guess, is the submarine. 
Because he would be underwater. I don't know what just happened here. Okay, you shoot at the things, and you try to avoid those missiles that are coming down on you from the ship and the planes on top. You try to hit them. I don't really know the story behind this, but I'm assuming we're at war. Not that it really matters right here. This game is very simple. So far, the last game seems a little bit more fun. I don't like the collision detection at all. Ah, I don't even know how I got hit, but I think I've seen enough. Let's try the next game, the third and final game. Alright, hopefully this is better than the last one. I've never tried this one either. This one's called Horror House, and it's also new, unsealed, look at the back. See, it's pretty much mint condition. Tells a lot about the game on the back. Okay. Once again, I'm being very careful opening this. Try not to damage anything at all because it is from 1984. Comes in a little bag. Okay, let's let that snap in. Focus on this now. Unusual looking game. Hmm, nothing seems to be happening. Yeah, maybe I didn't snap it in right. Let's see if I can get this going. like that guy in the middle seems to be moving. Can't really quite figure this one out. I'm not sure if the contacts aren't coming in to, right or something seems a little off with this one. Because I can move that guy to the left and right. Nothing really seems to be happening. I'm not shooting or anything when I press the button. It'd be even sadder if that's the way it's supposed to work. Because this is downright awful if that's the case. Can't imagine paying 30 bucks for this. Finally, here's a system that the color vision is often compared to. The Entex Adventure Vision. Here's a side-by-side -side size comparison. And as you can see, the Adventure Vision is quite a bit bigger. Turn it to the left side, they both have pretty much nothing going on over there. Let's turn it around to the rear, and as you can see, the Adventure Vision gets the uh, AC adapter port. The Color Vision should have, but doesn't. On the right side, the Adventure Vision has an unusual expansion port that was never used in a headphone jack. And underneath is where the batteries go. While the Adventure Vision is far more well known and a lot cooler, the Color Vision is probably even rarer. Despite this, the Adventure Vision goes for almost 10 times as much, with a loose one recently selling on eBay for over $1,400. Well, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed what is the first and currently only Color Vision video on the internet. Take care, everyone. Bye.